Hello everyone. Good day for all. Welcome back to yet another episode of Eyes from Veda, a smart way to Ayurveda. I am Dr. Kavya Vasudev and you are watching Series 1 Padartha Vijnana. Please subscribe to my channel and enable the bell button for continuous updates in Samhita. In the last videos, we discussed Ayurveda Nirupana, Darshana Nirupana and Siddhanta. If you have not watched those videos, please click the i button to access them. Moving with the next topic, Padartha. The definition of Padartha is that any substance or material can be considered as a Padartha. The word Padartha is derived of two words that is Pada and Artha. The meaning of the word Pada, Padanja Varna Samuha. That is Pada is a group of letters. That is for example, Pa, Ta etc. are the Varnas and when it is combined together, the word Pada is considered to be a Pada. So the Varna Samuha, Varna means the letters. The Varna Samuha is considered to be Pada. That is a group of letters when joined together, that is considered to be Pada. And the uh, Shaktam Padam, that is the capacity or power to express something is called as Pada. The letters which are having the capacity or when the letters are joined, the uh, combination of that particular uh, result which is able to express something is called as Pada. Suptigandam Padam, which ends with Sup and Thing, that is Nama Pada and Kriya Pada are considered as Pada. And the artha means meaning. So padasya arthaha padarthaha. The expressive meaning of a pada is called as padartha. That is the word meaning uh, which can be uh, ultimately got from a particular word is called as padartha. Padasya padayoho padanam va arthaha padarthaha. The meaning of one or two or more pada is called as padartha. That is the artha of pada is considered to be the padartha. That is the word meaning or meaning of a pada is considered to be padartha. Something which we can understand is called as padartha. Padyade gemyade yena arthaha sa padartha. Whose meaning is understood is called as padartha. Pramidi Vishaya ha Padartha. That is the Vishaya of Jnana is Padartha. That is uh, different kinds of Pramanas are mentioned in uh, Darshana Shastra as well as in Ayurveda has also accepted different Pramanas. Pramana means it is a tool of getting or attaining the proper knowledge. And there are certain other factors which are responsible for attaining this uh, Pramana Jnana. So, Pramiti is the, uh, the true knowledge which is attained through the Pramana. So, that uh, for attaining the knowledge, we should have a particular Vishaya or a subject of matter should be there for attaining the knowledge. So, that particular Vishaya or that subject of matter which is responsible for gaining knowledge is called as Padartha. Pada Pradipadyo Arthaha Padarthaha that is Artha executed by the Pada that is the meaning of a Pada or meaning of a word is called as Padartha. Lakshana of Padartha the characteristic features of Padarthas are like Abhideyatvam Padartha Samanya Lakshana that is having an identity is considered to be the Lakshana of Padartha. Shannam abhi padarthanam astitva abhideyatva nyayatvani. That is astitva abhideyatva and nyayatva are considered to be the lakshana of padartha. Astitva means having an existence. Abhideyatva means having an identity or having a nomenclature. And nyayatva, the ability or we can understand something or the knowability is called as padartha. So astitva, abhideyatva and nyayatva are the Features of Padartha or the Lakshana of Padartha. Enumeration of Padartha by different Acharyas. Vaisheshika Darshana has told about uh, six Padarthas. They are Dravya Guna Karma Samanya Vishesha Samavaya Ha Shad Padartha. Ha. Dravya Guna Karma Samanya Vishesha and Samavaya are the six Padarthas which are accepted by Vaisheshika Darshana. 
പ്രശസ്ത പാത ഹാസ് ആഡഡ് വൺ മോർ പദാർത്ഥ ഇൻ ദസ് ഷഡ് പദാർത്ഥ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ദ്രവ്യഗുണ കർമ്മ സാമാന്യ വിശേഷ സമവായ അഭാവ സപ്ത പദാർത്ഥ സോ ഓൾറെഡി ഷഡ് പദാർത്ഥ സ്റ്റോൾഡ് ബൈ വൈശേഷിക ദർശന പ്രശസ്ത പാത ഹാസ് ആഡഡ് വൺ മോർ പദാർത്ഥ ഇൻ ടു ദാറ്റ് ആൻഡ് സപ്ത പദാർത്ഥ ഹാസ് ബീൻ ടോൾഡ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ഓൾ ദ സിക്സ് പദാർത്ഥ മെൻഷൻ ആസ് പെർ വൈശേഷിക ദർശന ആർ സെയിം സച്ച് എസ് ദ്രവ്യ ഗുണ കർമ്മ സാമാന്യ വിശേഷ ആൻഡ് സമവായ അലോങ് വിത്ത് സെവൻത് പദാർത്ഥ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് അഭാവ ഹാസ് ഓൾസോ ബീൻ ആഡഡ് ബൈ ആചാര്യ പ്രശസ്ത പാത ഇൻ ആയുർവേദ ദ സിക്സ് പദാർത്ഥ ജസ്റ്റ് ലൈക്ക് ദാറ്റ് ഓഫ് വൈശേഷിക ദർശന ഹാസ് ബീൻ ആക്സെപ്റ്റഡ് ദ ആർ സാമാന്യം ച വിശേഷം ച ഗുണാൻ ദ്രവ്യാണി കർമ്മ ച സമവായം ച തജ്ഞാത്വ തന്തോക്തം വിധിമാസ്ഥിത ദ സെയിം ഷഡ് പദാർത്ഥ ഹാസ് ബീൻ ആക്സെപ്റ്റഡ് ഇൻ ആയുർവേദ ഓൾസോ ബട്ട് ദ ഓർഡർ ഓഫ് ദീസ് പദാർത്ഥ ഹാസ് ബീൻ ചേഞ്ച് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ഇൻ വൈശേഷിക ദർശന ദ ഹാവ് ടോൾ ഫ്രം ദ്രവ്യ ഗുണ കർമ്മ സാമാന്യ വിശേഷ ആൻഡ് സമവായ ബട്ട് ഇൻ ആയുർവേദ ആസ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് എ മെഡിക്കൽ സയൻസ് ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഡീലിംഗ് വിത്ത് ദ ചികിത്സ വേരിയസ് ഡിസീസസ് ആൻഡ് ഓൾ it the ayurveda shastra has given more importance to the samanya and vishesha padarthas and they have enumerated by starting with samanya so that is the difference between shat padarthas which is mentioned in vaisheshika darshana and ayurveda and also as ayurveda shastra is using these shat padarthas for the management purpose this shat padarthas are called as shat karanas so this shat padarthas or shat karanas which are accepted in ayurveda shastra, ശാസ്ത്ര ആർ സാമാന്യ വിശേഷ ഗുണ ദ്രവ്യ കർമ്മ ആൻഡ് സമവായ ന്യായദർശന ഹാസ് ടോൾഡ് അബൌട്ട് സിക്സ്റ്റീൻ പദാർത്ഥ ദ ആർ പ്രമാണ പ്രമേയ സംശയ പ്രയോജന ദൃഷ്ടാന്ത സിദ്ധാന്ത അവയവ തർക്ക നിർണയ വാദ ജൽപ വിതണ്ട ഹേത്വാഭാസ ഛല ജാതി ആൻഡ് നിഗ്രഹസ്ഥാന Uh, already it has been uh, seen in the uh, darshana nirupana that nyaya darshana mainly focus on the pramana shastra and vaisheshika darshana mainly focuses on uh, padarthas so this nyaya darshana and vaisheshika darshana are almost same and later they began two branches and nyaya darshana has uh, focused mainly on the pramanas but already they have told about the 16 padarthas and all these 16 padarthas are coming under the 44 vada mar- gas in charaka samhita so these are the 16 padarthas which are accepted in nyaya darshana as per sankhya darshana the 25 tattvas of srishti krama are considered as the padarthas and uh, yoga darshana the 26 tattvas that is the 25 tattvas as told in sankhya darshana along with that ishvara has also been considered as one of the tattvas so thus 26 tattvas of srishti krama are considered as the padarthas so the srishti krama uh, the tattvas of srishti krama are considered as the padarthas in sankhya and yoga darshana in vedanta darshana the two types of uh, padarthas are been accepted they are considered to be atma and anatma atma means that which do possess the soul or atma and anatma means which does not possess the soul so the two types of padarthas which are accepted by vedanta darshana are atma and anatma madhvacharya has accepted 10 uh, padarthas they are dravya guna karma samanya vishesha vishishta amshi sadrishya shakti and abhava next moving with the classification of padartha mainly all the things in this universe has been classified into two that is dvidham eva khalu sarvam satcha asatcha everything in this universe can be considered as sat and asat sattam anubhavanti idi bhavah na tu utpadyate sat is that which is existing and asat is that which is not existing so all the things or all the matter in this universe can be classified or can be considered in two aspect that is sat and asat sat means that which is existing and asat means with that which is not existing and as per the darshana shastra padarthas are mainly classified into two types that is bhava padartha and abhava padartha 
this bhava padartha are those which are existing or which are evident just like that of uh, sat uh, padarthas the bhava padarthas are those which are existing or which is evident and the shat padarthas are considered to be the bhava padartha that is dravya guna karma samanya vishesha and samavaya dravya means the substance any substance can be considered as a dravya guna means the properties of that particular dravya karma the activity or the action which is carried out by that particular dravya samanya means the similarity between uh, two or uh, more uh, dravyas and vishesha means the difference between uh, the uh, different dravyas and samavaya is the intimate relationship between this uh, dravya guna karma samanya vishesha etc and abhava padartha means that which is not existing similar to that of asat uh, the abhava padartha is not existing and this abhava padartha is mainly classified into two types that is samsarga abhava and anyonya abhava this samsarga abhava is again classified into three types that is prak abhava pradhamsa abhava and atyanta abhava so abhava padartha means that which is not existing and this abhava is classified into two that is samsarga abhava and anyonya abhava samsarga abhava means on the combination of something the abhava is there and anyonya abhava means there is an absence of something in something else so this samsarga abhava is classified into three that is prak abhava pradhamsa abhava and atyanta abhava so abhava padartha means non existence and samsarga abhava means non existence itself that is at all the times uh, non existence or based on certain conditions the non existence of a particular dravya or padartha is considered to be samsarga abhava that is samsarga based on the combination of certain things there will be absence of certain things that is called as samsarga abhava the three types are prak abhava pradhamsa abhava and atyanta abhava prak abhava means absence of the karya before production that is uh, karya and karana are there karana means the reason or the cause from which the karya will be produced karya means the final end product or the action which is being carrying out is called as karya so if a karana is there and a karya is being produced or action is done then uh, the presence can be felt if such a uh, karya before the manifestation or before the production of a particular thing the absence of that thing is there so such absence before the karya production is called as um, prak abhava prak means before so if we are manufacturing a product or a good so before the manufacturing the absence of that good is there so such uh, absence is called as prak abhava pradhamsa abhava means the absence of karya after its destruction if some object or some material is getting destroyed after that destruction the absence of that particular dravya will be seen so that is called as pradhamsa abhava and the third type is is atyanta abhava that is absence of a particular thing in all the time that is prak or pradhamsa or all the time uh, the absence of a particular thing is there that is considered to be atyanta abhava and the second type of abhava padartha is anyonya abhava that is absence of one substance in another thing that is all the substances have a particular identity or individual uh, features are there so based on that we can differentiate each uh, dravya so one particular uh, property of a dravya won't be seen in another dravya so that absence of a particular property or absence of one substance in another one for example the gotva jati or uh, manushya jati there are certain features which are uh, present for manushya jati and gotva jati so the properties which are present in manushya jati will not be present in the gotva jati similarly the properties which are seen in gotva jati will not be present in manushya jati also so that absence of these properties the absence of manushya jati properties in gotva jati that is considered to be anyonya abhava that is the absence of one substance in another thing is called as anyonya abhava so abhava padartha means non existence of a thing and it is mainly classified into two types that is samsarga abhava and anyonya abhava the samsarga abhava is again classified into three that is prak abhava pradhamsa abhava and atyanta abhava 
टुडे वी कंप्लीटेड द लेक्शन एन्यूमरेशन एंड क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ पदार्थ एंड विल बी कंटिन्यूइंग विद द टॉपिक्स ऑफ पदार्थ विज्ञान इन द अपकमिंग वीडियोस फॉर मोर अपडेट्स एंड सम हिदा मेक श्योर यू सब्सक्राइब द चैनल थैंक यू सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो टिल देन बाय